Welcome to Devices Setup and today we will learn how to set up D-Link DAP1820 AC2000 Wi-Fi range extender. So to start with, there are three ways to set it up. First is via WPS, second is via D-Link Wi-Fi app and third is via browser. So we will show you all the three steps and you can follow any one of these whichever you find easier. So let's get started. The first thing that we have to do is to plug this extender into a power outlet near your router. Now it could be in the same room or maybe within 5 to 10 feet of the range. Next wait for the power LED to get blinking orange. Now the first setup method that we are going to use is WPS as I found it the most easiest one. So for this you simply need to press the WPS button given on the side of the extender once. Next, within 2 minutes of this, press the WPS button given on the router. Now, if you don't know how the WPS button looks like on the router, then watch video given on our channel. On successful setup of this extender with the router, the status WPS LED will turn solid green. And if it doesn't, then it could mean that WPS is disabled on the router. So you can watch video given on our channel to learn how to enable the WPS first. Moreover, after successful setup, the extender will show up in the Wi-Fi list with your home network name and then hyphen ext suffix. So you can connect your phone or computer to this network using the same Wi-Fi password as your routers. Now let's check the second method to set up D-Link DAP1820 extender and that is via D-Link Wi-Fi app. So for this, kindly download and install the D-Link Wi-Fi app on your Android or iOS phone. Next, open the D-Link Wi-Fi app and on the home screen, you will see an option which says install new device. So simply tap on that option. Now, you can either scan the QR code present on the back of the extender or print it on the quick installation card or you can proceed with continue without scanning. So if you have scanned the QR code, then follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. And if you are setting it up without scanning the code, then on the next screen, select extender as your product, followed by selecting its model that is DAP1820. Next, it will ask you if you have D-Link router at home which supports mesh or not. So if you have primary D-Link router, which supports mesh feature then click yes or otherwise click no. So basically mesh feature uses one SSID or network name for both router and extender and you do not have to manually switch your device from extender network to the router network. In mesh system your device will automatically get connected to the nearest strongest network. So as per your setup choice click on yes or no. On the next screen it will ask you how you would like to set up this extender as wireless or wired. So we are setting it up as wireless here so select that. Now we do also have another video on our channel which explains how to set up D-Link extender in access point or in wired option so you can check that too. Now it will ask you if you see orange blinking light on the extender. If yes then do click on yes or if no then kindly reset your extender once and follow these setup steps again. So on the next screen it will ask you to connect to the extender's default network name. So on your phone go to the Wi-Fi list and connect to dlink some digits network name and type the password that you find on the quick installed card or on the back side of the extender and once connected to this network then you need to come back to the D-Link Wi-Fi app and click next option. Now once the device is found follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup which includes selecting the network name that you want to extend and typing its password and in case if this setup doesn't work then make sure that you are using the updated version of the D-Link Wi-Fi app. You can watch video given on our channel 
to learn how to update the link Wi-Fi app on your phones. Now let's check the last and final method of setting up D-Link DAP1820 AC2000 Wi-Fi extender via browser. So for this make sure extender is plugged in into a power source and if you have already tried DAP1820 setup multiple times and failed then I will recommend you to reset it once before you try this setup. So watch video given on our channel to learn how to reset your D-Link extender. Next grab a phone or computer. You can use either iOS or Android or maybe use Windows or Mac computer as per your choice. Next go to the Wi-Fi list on your device and there you will find your D-Link extender network name. It will come up as D-Link hyphen some digits network name. So tap on it to connect to this network. And once connected, it's asked for the password. Then type the one that you see on the quick installation card or on the back side of the extender. Once connected, open a browser on the same device and into the URL type dlinkap.local. It will then take you to the dlink extender's first time login window. And if not, then type 192.168.0.50 into the URL to access its setup page. If that also doesn't work, then watch video given on our channel to learn how to fix the link ap.local not working. Nevertheless, on the login window, if it asks for the password, then leave that field blank and click on login. Then it will scan all the available networks in your area. So you will need to select the network that you want to extend and type its password. Then follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. So we have given step-by-step -step guide on how to set up D-Link DAP1820 Wi-Fi range extender with all the three setup methods. And lastly, if you found this video useful and would like to appreciate my hard work and research, then please do hit like and subscribe to support my efforts. Thank you so much and I hope you have a blessed day.